Sharon Kana, who's heading the Xenakis project, cannot be with us tonight. She's in, in the south of France, so we can easily forgive her. She sent me a text to read, and I'm reading it without further ado on her behalf. Dearest Barbara, it's with deep sadness that I cannot physically be in New York today to celebrate and thank you personally for all your tireless support, contagious enthusiasm, constant good cheer over the past dozen years or so. I'll never forget the day our beloved Claire Brooke invited you over for lunch to her place to introduce us, and you to our then latest brain, brainchild, the Xenakis Project of the Americas. As the French um, are wont to say, perhaps you felt we had dropped the strand of hair in your proverbial soup at the book center. But by the end of that meal, which started with a cordial handshake, we parted ways only after a long hug. The biggest and tightest hug between us recently culminated in your impeccable collaboration and organizational savvy spearheading the New York leg of the 41-hour non-stop global marathon symposium celebrating Xenakis' centenary, Meta Xenakis. For that and all you have done in support of the Xenakis project, and me personally, I will remain eternally grateful. <coughs> Wishing you and Robert and Molly too lots of well-deserved rest, fun, good health and love, undisturbed by pests like me. <laughs> However, you know that my door and heart are always wide open during your pleasure trips to France. Thank you, Barbara. You are simply amazing. <laughs>